those are nasty. Ugh. been working outside uh, pretty worn out pretty sweaty but I was gonna do some housework today but change of plans I just got a call from KUSA they're an aircraft maintenance company uh, they work on a lot of private jets for a lot of really rich people and they need me to do some inspections on it so uh, there's gonna be a quick change of plans I'm gonna run out to uh, Beaumont knock these inspections out Place. Gotta put on my official bling before I show up at the airport. This is the Falcon Jet that I did an inspection on the other day. Oh, I did mine on spring break and everybody was, the pilots was going down the, they were going down the South Calgary Island. So I was crawling around, this is like 1986, I was crawling around out of Boris by myself on Crookus. You remember the, the college student that got cut up by those pulpits? No. Yeah, and the devil horse horse took a college student and uh, sacrificed him. This ain't nothing. I'm just looking for my friends. That is the King Air. What one? This one right here. Bahamas? Jason's Deli owns one. Years and years ago. So they didn't have the paint stripped off of it and for me to do my inspection I have to have the paint stripped off of it. So I'm gonna have them let me take it home and I'll take it to my mechanic, have them strip the paint, I'll do the inspection, deliver the part back here tomorrow so the plane can make its flight on Friday. So they didn't have the part ready, they didn't have the paint stripped off, couldn't do my inspection. So. I'm going to have to get that done and worry about it tomorrow. So, to finish off the show, maybe we'll do a, a segment on things that I've broken. Like this LED cube here. Um, let me show you how this came. This thing came with a board like this. And then it came with... bags and bags 
of these LEDs. I had to bend every one of these with a pair of needle nose pliers and put it in a jig and then solder them together to build this array cube. It took me about eight hours. Then it got put in a box and got destroyed. Now look at it. So this is my replacement kit, but I haven't had the time or the energy to put it together. All right, my first question and answer session. Question, question and answer time. I had the question asked me today. One of my friends, Madison, uh, posted what equipment I was using, um, how I was filming when I was driving. Um, so I thought I'd go over just a little bit how I'm how I'm recording these vlogs, what what equipment I'm using. Um, my first piece of equipment I use is this Joby. It's a J O B Y. This is a very versatile uh, tripod stand. Um, you can put your camera on there. Um, it's got a level on it. You can attach this, wrap it around things. Um, you can hold it like a stick, like a selfie stick. Um, this is what you put your DSLR camera on to do a lot of filming. If I ever stop in the car to film myself, I can set this up in the car. The second thing I use, the second thing I use is this little goby. This one holds your cell phone. Well, let's see. See, your cell phone goes in this. It's a little tripod for your cell phone. Now this thing's really handy. I can hang it from my visor, twist it onto things to record time-lapse videos of driving somewhere. That's really handy. You can also hold your phone like this. Makes it a lot easier. You don't ever block the camera with your fingers. Um, I can also set it up and record time-lapse videos. Um, the base of this one is also magnetic, so I can stick it to the car and then drive around um, with this stuck on the outside of the car or on some piece of metal like a big hanger door or something. Uh, so that's the second piece of equipment there. The third piece of equipment, the most important one, is this DSLR camera. It also can autofocus on your face if you move in and out while it's recording video. Some of the other models don't do that. And then you have a shotgun mic up here with a windscreen on it so you can record really good outside in the wind. This is the thing I try to record everything on if I can because it gives the best video quality. Now when I'm recording in the car, it really depends on if my son's in the car with me. Try not to record while I'm driving if my son's in the vehicle with me. Uh, if I do, um, I will have the camera mounted somewhere and I'm not holding it that way I can focus on driving and I'm just talking. Sometimes I'll just hold this Joby stick here and record myself while I'm driving. Another cool thing that I use if I want to get real cinematic shots is this device here. This is a Skylab 3-axis gyro for your cell phone. And you can see right here, this keeps the phone absolutely level. Um, so if I was recording myself here, this will give you nice, really smooth panoramic shots. There's nothing I can do here that's going to mess this up. This gyro is a really good tool if I want to get those flowing shots. Or if I'm walking. So that's all I do. Um, that's why I use this particular equipment. That's how I film when I'm driving. Um, I believe the last question you asked was, how long do I edit every day? That depends. Like the beach episode, I probably edited for seven hours for that one episode. Generally, I'm going to try to keep it around two hours, um, but to give a quality edit and an interesting blog and make the story happen the way I want to happen probably takes four hours a day, and I do it every single day for you guys. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. So, and that, my friends, is the end of Q&A. See you tomorrow. If you want to watch another episode, you can click right here. Also, make sure you hit that logo and subscribe so you can watch tomorrow's episode. Have a good day.